it's 6 a.m. and Bree Rosenblum and her team are headed out to do some fishing. So some people just use a simple slip knot, but I like the slip knot in the slip knot. But don't let the sand dunes or the fishing poles fool you. This is no beach. This is the desert. Do you want to get a GPS point over here too? Yeah. With support from the National Science Foundation, biologists from the University of California, Berkeley, are here at the White Sands National Monument in New Mexico to study evolution in action. These little lizards have a story to tell us about how new species form. Hey, 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 hang on, hang on. We're interested in the big questions in biology, and it's also exciting in this time when our world is changing really rapidly, and we want to know um, whether and how and when animals are gonna be able to adapt to environmental changes. They come to White Sands because it's an evolutionary hotbed the 275 square mile gypsum dune field formed very recently, geologically speaking, only about 10,000 years ago or so. All of the animals that colonized this area had to go through an incredible amount of change in order to live in this unique environment. And so what we see is that a lot of the animals have evolved a number of different adaptations to survive here. The most noticeable one is that they're all incredibly light in color. These are whiptails, just one of the lizards they study. They're the same species, but may well be diverging into two. The little guy on the left was caught right here on the dunes. And you see that the White Sands one is a lot lighter in color than the one from down the road. You can also see that its stripes on its back are much fainter. The team also studies lizards in nearby transitional zones where white sand gradually gives way to brown. These so-called fence lizards are climbers. They like trees and running along ridges. We measure what color they are. We measure different aspects of their body size. Um, we measure what they're eating. And they take a tissue sample, usually a little section from the tip of the tail, back to the lab for genetic analysis. The same gene that is involved in the color difference in these lizards is also a gene that's involved in um, color variation even in humans. Rosenblum says lighter colored lizards clearly have a better shot than darker ones at living long enough on the white sands to breed and pass on genes. They even select mates based on color. It's incredibly important for them to be camouflaged in their environment because they are out looking for their food and looking to find mates and doing all the things that lizards do during the day. And at the same time, their predators are out looking for food and all the things the predators do during the day. Love you, puppy. She says understanding the process of evolution is important given the large number of species facing extinction around the world today. Some of them won't make it, but some will, in part by adapting quickly, a lot like these lizards. So how can, in this time where things are changing so rapidly, how can we give species the best chance possible at survival? And Part of that story is evolution. It has to be evolution. The world's changing too quickly for species to survive without evolving. Sunset and twilight. All in all, a good day's fishing for these folks, even though they only caught little ones. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.